Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. I'm also going to discuss how to use computer-assisted coding for ICD-10 clinical documentation improvement and also for ICD-10 training. Implementation examples of CAC systems will be given as well. And um, the one thing that I won't be able to do on our audio educator is demonstrate the coder's workspace, but I know that's listed in the materials. We'll give you some recommendations on how to prepare for CAC and also for ICD-10. And then at the end, uh, Barg will open up the lines for a question answer period. A few good CAC vendors. There are certainly a few good CAC vendors in the United States today. And there are some vendors that don't really qualify that call themselves CAC vendors. But make no mistake about it, with the advent of computer-assisted coding, you're going to see a lot more computer-assisted coding vendors on the horizon. Technology is an amazing thing, and technology has changed our lives just in the past 20 years like we never could have imagined. If you notice, I have a cassette deck and a pencil, and my slide says, our children will never know the link between these two. Think about how far we've come in technology since the days of the cassette tape and having to use a pencil to rewind them to a starting point. Yes, technology is quite amazing. In fact, um, technology and computer-assisted coding are actually going to replace the encoder uh, that we know today in the coding world. The encoders of today are 25-year-old technology and have, uh, have been very useful over the last 25 years. But with the advent of CAC, um, the encoders that we have used in the past will no longer be needed. Coders today will live and work in a CAC world and those encoders will only be used to scrub or validate the codes at the end of their CAC session. The whole computer-assisted coding concept is to capture physician type documents electronically and then automatically extract the clinical codes using a computerized mechanism. What we want to do is deliver these results from the CAC engines to the billing departments in real time, thus speeding up the coding process. We're going to be able to reduce coding times and costs with CAC. And part of the concept is to utilize CAC for clinical documentation improvement. We want to also explain to you today how we can capitalize on the global experience of countries that have already gone to the ICD-10 environment and have electronic documentation in the healthcare environment. Automated coding goals. They can do a lot uh, for a facility, healthcare facility. They can streamline the process of clinical coding. Um, they also can reduce the physician paperwork. They can increase coder productivity, which is really important in making the transition to ICD-10. These automated coding goals can also offset qualified coder shortages. As I travel around the country, I find areas of this country, in the United States, that are short um, coders for their facility. They have gone to outsource coding, and they spend a lot of money with outsource coders, and maybe unnecessarily so. We'll also show you how automated coding can reduce denials and increase consistency. We want to be able to create opportunities for, for peer review and physician-led quality review, and then electronically advance CDI initiatives as well as address ICD-10 transition issues, and flag RAC audit chart for our RAC audit specialists. It's interesting, but in 1996, the American Health Information Management Association's vision for 2006, for 10 years down the road, their vision was coding would be done by using ICD-10, and codes would be generated automatically at the patient's bedside from electronic documentation and have automatic queries to the physician when inadequate or inconsistent information was entered. That was their vision. They were a little premature, wouldn't you say? 
15 years after their prediction, the U.S. is the last first world country to implement ICD-10. SuperCoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 866-228-9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial.